Hey Glammies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a workout video for you guys and just giving you guys some tips and tricks on how I lost over 15 pounds, about 17, in a, just a couple of months. So I started out my weight loss journey weighing about 175 pounds. I'll insert a picture here. Now today I only weigh 150, I think the last time I got on the scale I was like 154. So yeah, so basically, over the summer after freshman year, me and my best friend, we went out and we were eating a lot. And I didn't realize that I was just eating, 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 trying all these different foods and not exercising, not doing anything else, just sitting on my couch, watching YouTube, watching TV. So the pounds packed on me pretty quick. But when I got back to college and I saw how fat I was, <laughs> Nah, let me not say fat. I saw that I was gaining weight and that I had some extra pounds on me, which was really hard for me because I'm a dancer. And at that point, I just looked so out of place and like big on my team. I don't know. This masa might sound really bad and like shallow, but like for a dancer, you have to be smaller to do some of the stuff and wear some of the costumes. So basically, I made it my mission to lose weight and put in the work. Since I live on a college campus, losing weight because of the food that they give you, I have a meal plan, is really hard. So that's why I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to stay motivated and just some easy ways to not like give in to the food and all the friedness that they have on campus. So tip one, my school has an organic section and like a lactose intolerant soy vegan type section. So I found myself going to that section a lot and buying like natural juices and getting things that were really healthy. I found myself staying away from the grill where they had all the different fried foods and like unhealthy things like cheese fries, curly fries, and all of that stuff. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I did get it, sometimes I would slip up because I'm busy, I'm on the go, I'm doing my work, but I was trying to eat a lot of salads. I would mostly just get different variations of salads or I would go to the sub and get like spinach wraps and things like that. Things that weren't a lot of calories. Also I tried juicing but it didn't really work out for me but if you're like really strict and you know you can handle something as strict as juicing I would say go for it because definitely the days that I juiced I lost about like three pounds so it was really good and the juices were very nutritious I'm sure it's way healthier than eating cheese fries quesadillas nachos and cheese every day <laughs> which is what my my campus serves pizza is one of my faves, by the way guys I love the pizza at my college even though this food has been disgusting this year but I'll have a video on that later number three make time to go to the gym I know this seems like a simple and easy tip but it's really not when you have a lot of work and when you have a lot of things to do you often don't find the time to go to the gym so what I would tell you is even if it's just in your dorm room or in your living room just at least put aside 15 minutes to put some workouts in. Like, I have some easy and fun workouts that I like to do that I'm going to show you guys in the clips. I don't know, they might be playing here now. And they're just very easy. You don't have to be like a fitness buff to do them. But trust me, they do work because they have. it has helped me slim my waist. My thighs are smaller. My arms are smaller. My stomach is definitely flatter. My face, I've lost some weight in my face, thank goodness, because my cheeks were looking crazy. But yeah, there's just easy things. Or even better, if you can put in an hour a day at the gym for at least four to five days a week, I guarantee you, you will see quick results. Working out, I feel, is one of the like most beneficial things to losing weight. Because even times when I have been eating junk food, just straight junk food, and going to the gym, it has like helped me, still helped me like lose weight. So I recommend that you try to make the time to go to the gym. And you don't have to start off going every single day. Let's just be realistic with ourselves. Maybe you'll go one time a week or twice a week. Just go. Just get yourself to go. Also, you guys want to make sure that you're very hydrated. Staying hydrated is very important when you're working out. Because trust me, you don't want to be that girl in the gym who's working out. And then you haven't been drinking water. You're tired. And you just whew, pass out. I've seen it. It was funny. No, it wasn't. Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, I've definitely seen somebody in the gym 
passed out because they were so thirsty and hot but they wouldn't stop going and they just kept going also so you want to be drinking water before your meals like before every meals and in between your meals guys don't forget about drinking water it's very important another tip is to eat slowly if you eat slowly and you're really tasting your food i guarantee you you'll get fuller quicker there have been times that i have just like been so hungry that i just shoved my food in my mouth and then i'm still hungry after i finish eating definitely take your time eating small bites and that'll help you if you guys overeat too much definitely get into portion sizes as well because portion sizes are so important on college campuses and even when you go to restaurants they give you this huge portion and you feel like you have to eat it all but you don't and you really shouldn't because if you look at like how much you're supposed to eat compared to what people give you you'll see that most Americans overeat by a lot I'll insert a picture here of the portion sizes that we should be eating versus what you are eating probably and you can see this now and you can fix it the way that I exercise is I start off by stretching, which stretching is very important to me because I'm a dancer so I like to stay flexible and I always stretch. I stretch at least twice a day. And then I like to go in doing cardio, you know, jumping, jumping jacks, knee highs just to get to the body warm. And then I go to most likely my abs because my stomach and like my rolls were the biggest problem for me. So I do like crunches, sit-ups, wall sits, just working my core a lot. And then I go to my legs and my glutes. I do like squats, I do um, knee, like leg kicks, back kicks, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of tips and tricks on how I lost weight. And I hope that you guys can benefit from this video because it's hard and I have a bit of a ways to go as well. I want to lose about 10 more pounds. That's the that's my goal. I want to be about 145 and right now I'm like 154. So yeah. I go away and I'll keep documenting with you guys, keep giving you more tricks. It's the summertime so I'm going to be going to the park, jogging, doing kickboxing. I also did a water cycling class and that was so so fun oh my gosh if you guys have one in your neighborhood you should definitely try it water cycling is basically like you're on a spin bike but inside of the water so it takes off the pressure of your knees but trust me it is very tiring and it's an intense workout so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe let me guys know your weight loss stories let me know what exercises you guys like to do let me know if you've lost any weight, just talk to me. I love interacting with you guys. That's it, Glammies.